Hey YouTube, um, I've never done a gear review before, and I tried making a couple videos before this, but they all, not, they all end up being like 10 minutes long, so I'm going to keep this one pretty short. Um, I want to review my new my sleeping bag. Um, it's the Western Mountaineering Highlight sleeping bag. Yeah, right there. Um, it's really, really cool so far. I've owned a couple of ultralight sleeping bags before. Uh, I've owned a uh, Mountain Hardware Ultra Lamin of 45. Uh, that thing is good in the summer, but if you're gonna do any backpacking in, you know, fall or spring, you're gonna freeze your ass off. And um, same goes with the uh, Mountain Bell Down Hugger, uh, number five. Again, good sleeping bag. Uh, a little bit too wide for me. I don't think the the, the sleeping bag really hugs you or uh, kind of envelops around you like they claim that they, that the bag does but you know whatever um, this is a bag that I always wanted but I really didn't never want to dish out $300 for a sleeping bag and I realized at one point I'm going to do it anyway so why not I got a good deal from uh, uh, what is it called Eastern Mountain Sports that I hung a coupon up there on my little clipboard and um, you know, for two hundred fifty dollars, you're basically getting the lightest, warmest sleeping bag on the planet. I think right now, um, it's a very minimalist bag. Um, doesn't have a net baffle. Um, doesn't have a what do you call it? The uh, draft tube right here, um, and it's got a half zipper as opposed to a full zipper. So if you're a bigger guy uh, and you you know, maybe have trouble squeezing your sleeping bag. I don't know. Might want to look. <coughs> you might want to look at their uh, other options. I think the Summer Light is only three ounces heavier and it's a little bit warmer and it's got a full end zipper. Um, comes in this awesome purple color, so you don't feel way too manly when you're out backpacking. Um, and it's got these cool square baffles, which I've never really seen before. Um, Apparently they use it on two of their sleeping bag models, they use it on the Caribou, and they use it on the Highlight. And, um, pretty sweet though, um, I think this design is even better than the horizontal baffle design. I think this would probably make the down, since it's in, in these square baffles, it, it can't really compress on the sides or compress down, but it will always stay, it will always stay within that square. So, you have a good, you know, and they're pretty wide too, they're about a foot wide or so. So you have a foot area across your chest of, uh, you know, baffling that that will always keep the down above you and it will always keep you warm. Um, again, I don't want to make this video way too long, but a couple of things that I wanted to show you guys, and uh, this is really important right here, made in the USA. Buy local, don't buy Chinese made bags, don't buy Korean made bags, um, they're crap for the most part. Um, you know, buy like English made bags like, you know, Rob, or you can buy Western Mountaineering, or uh, Feather Friends. If you look at the quality of these bags and compare them to Chinese bags, they're, they blow them clean out of the water. Um, amazing. Um, weighs 16 ounces. And uh, Western Mountaineering, when they give their temperature ratings, they actually give the comfort rating, not the lower limit rating. So, like my old Mont Bell bag, uh, which was rated for 40 degrees, um, the comfort level on that bag is actually like 46. So, I mean, unless you're a really warm sleeper, you'll be freezing your ass off. Um, if it gets below 40, which sucks um, for a bag that actually weighs more than this bag. I think the lower limit rating or the rating for warmer sleepers on this bag would be 30 degrees or lower, which is insane for a 16 ounce bag. Um, and that's really all due to the fact that they use these really cool, really light fabrics. They call it the extreme light. I don't know, it's some sort of nylon. But uh, it weighs like 0.9 ounces per square yard, which is just ridiculously light. 
and uh, they also use pretty much the best on that you can use. Um, it's like 850 plus fill. I know there's 900 fill power down, but the way that Western Mountaineering measures their down is different. I know th they, they do in a way where um, I'm not sure how exactly they do it, but it's a uh, it's a um, they do it very conservatively. They don't really they don't really try to make their down seem way too good, you know. Anyhow, um, price tag on this thing is two hundred ninety five dollars, which may seem a lot, but Western Mountaineering bags will last you a lifetime if you take care of them. And uh, comes with this storage bag, this camo storage bag. Let me show you right there. Western Mountaineering. You can't see that. There we go. Western Mountaineering. And um, comes with a stuff sack, which is right here. So, a little stuff sack. And let me compare that to uh, Aquafina. Um, 500 milliliter bottle. Let's see. Right there. So, stuff's really tiny. I mean, seriously, it's like the size of a football. Um, so, for all those serious ultralight backpackers out there, this is the bag for you. Um, just amazing. Um, anyhow, I'll be doing more gear reviews of, uh, things that I don't see that have been reviewed on YouTube. Um, if you guys have any more questions, uh, let me know. And uh, even though I haven't taken this bag out in the field yet, um, I will fairly soon, or I might wait until next spring just because it's getting pretty cold right now. Um, I might go out backpacking, I might do a quick overnighter in about two weeks. I might or might not, it all depends because my finals will my final week is coming up um, and I really have to study so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, there will be a couple more to come